We've been very clear that what we will be doing on the 29th of November is confirming Auckland's move into the traffic light system. As the Prime Minister said yesterday, the pattern that we've had when we make these announcements is we make them and as soon as possible we set it going. And so the businesses I've been talking to today are preparing for that week. They're starting to do their ordering and that's the right thing to do. Uh, the certainty that we can, prov can provide, we have provided. And from there, Auckland businesses will be able to trade um, in a very you know, much wider way than they have been up to now. I've certainly heard a lot of frustration and I'm not surprised by that. I, don't, I would say I haven't heard a lot of anger, to be honest. People were very you know, positive and constructive and respectful. But there is a high degree of frustration and I share that frustration. COVID-19 has led us to have to take actions that none of us would have wanted to do. But ultimately the restrictions that have been in place in Auckland have been incredibly important in suppressing the virus and making sure that we had time to lift our vaccination rates and there is now a clear path, pathway and plan for Auckland. I think I've got a pretty good relationship with the business community. We might not always agree about every single thing but over the last four years I've spent a lot of time listening, talking to business just as I have in the last few months. I think the level of support that the government's provided to businesses around New Zealand over the last 20 months has been, has been extraordinary when you look at it historically. You know, we've had just more than $5.5 billion in three months. That comes on top of about $14 billion in the first outbreak. So we've been there alongside businesses providing support. I know that there is high levels of stress, but we are there as a partnership, and I'll keep meeting with people, keep talking and keep listening.